Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, my child, when the load is too much on your shoulders to carry, to even to the point that you can't even sleep at night, then it is time to surrender that weight to me today, my child. Yes, listen to me. I know the load is too heavy and is pulling you down. Therefore, do not resist to put it down. Yes, release that heavy load and burden to me today. You may have been put down, but I will cause you to be like a spring that is pressed down to get the power to raise to a higher height in me. Yes, I will use all things, bad or good, to be used for my glory within your life. I will even put you back together right in front of the people who broke you. Don't worry, my child, for the plans you made in your heart that did not succeed the way you anticipated. I will redirect this setback and order your steps for a greater comeback and bring about success. For remember, where I guide you, I will also provide and cause you to prosper in all you do. When your steps are ordered by me, I delight in your way. Have I not promised to guide you throughout your life? Yes, I have given you the promise of my Spirit who was sent to lead you into all truth. Nothing is by coincidence, my child, for that is my way of remaining anonymous. What you may call coincidence today is often in fact my perfect timing. For I continue to guide and direct your paths, even when it seems that you are lost. Yes, I know exactly what's going on, even when you do not know, my child. I will use circumstances to cause you to be still and know that I am God. Yes, I have promised to guide you, to lead you, but I will not force you to do that right thing, unlike the devil who will lose all his victims with flashing neon lights and bombardedness of temptations, I do not force myself upon mankind as I have given man free will. Yes, my child, I have given you free will. I did not force Noah to build the ark, but rather Noah built the ark by faith in me. I did not force David to fight Goliath, but rather David fought Goliath by faith in me. See, genuine faith is dynamic, my child, and it makes things happen within one's life. Passive faith is not faith at all, but mere optimism. Obedience to my word is faith regardless of your circumstances. And I have called you to walk by faith and not by sight, my child. My sheep will hear my voice and they will follow after me. For I am the good shepherd. Yes, I am your rock and fortress, my child. And I will instruct you and teach you in the way in which you should go. Yes, I will guide you with my eye onto paths of righteousness. I know the numbers of hairs on your head. Therefore, nothing ever occurs or is ever a surprise to me without me knowing about it beforehand. I know every minute detail of your life. Yes, 24 hours a day, I see you every second, even the very thoughts of your mind before you even think of them. I have searched you, my child, and know you. I know you're coming in and you're going out. I know you're sitting down and you're sitting up, and I understand all your thoughts are far off. Yes, I see your path and air every move you will ever make within your walk. Yes, my ways are above your ways and my thoughts are above your thoughts. You may not always make the right decision for you are human, although I know your heart and will judge you accordingly. Yes, I know the secrets of a man's heart, whether you do 
your part or not, I will always remain faithful in my part. But when you learn to trust me and base all your decisions upon my word with the leading of my spirit, regardless of your feelings, then I will cause you to prosper and guide your steps. Don't be afraid to start again, my child, for this time you will not be starting from scratch, but rather you will have my help and your experience that will help you get to the finishing line. Yes, I have promised to guide the meek, that is, those who are willing to be taught and to lead and led by my spirit and who are cooperative to knowing my will. When you are eager to know my opinion and are willing to do as I have commanded, then I will guide you throughout life as I have promised. So stop leaning upon your own understanding but trust in me with all your heart when you acknowledge me in all you do I will redirect your paths and strengthen you my child the only opinion that matters is my opinion my word is a discerner of hearts and is able to discern even between your soul and spirit revealing the true intention of your heart my word is pure honest and trustful about everything there is no deceit in me My servant King David knew to meditate on my word day and night, for it will bring you much wisdom. Remember, the beginning of wisdom and knowledge is the fear of me and helps you to depart from evil. I want to guide you, my child, but I cannot if you are as stubborn as a mule and insist upon doing things your own way. Therefore, submit to me today in in full surrender that I may direct your steps and that you may be given the grace to resist the devil today that he may flee from you. Be at peace this day. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. The Bible says according to Proverbs 16 verse 9, a man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. Hallelujah. But the Bible also says, according to Psalm 37, verse 23, the steps of a man are ordered by the Lord and he delights in his way. Hallelujah. See, it's important to live life with purpose. See, having a purpose gives us purpose gives us direction and helps you make major decisions. It keeps you moving and sets you on a decisive path. Stagnant life is just like stagnant water. It gets murky, it gets blocked up, it gets smelly, it gets trapped, it gets dirty. See, we weren't designed to be murky creatures of nothing. God created us with and for a great purpose. Sure, it's nice to have days where we have no plans, nothing to do and no one to see, no pressure, just rest. But a whole life of that, it gets you nowhere. So let's look at this. Where do you want to be in 10 years time? Or should I say, where do you want to be in five years time? So start making plans in your heart. Get moving in life. And when we make plans and step out in faith and start walking them out, we get momentum. And our momentum gives God room to direct our steps. See, that's what happens. The Bible says, without faith, it's impossible to please God. It requires you to step out in faith. Start believing. Start hoping again. Start uh, stepping out, even if it looks impossible. This then gives God the grace. It gives us the grace to carry on that we may see God's plans come about in our life. So let's look at this. God wants you to do something. He wants you to get moving. God is waiting for you to draw near to him, to step out in faith. He will direct your steps. Your heart is of high value to God. In directing your steps, he will always keep, protect, love, inspire, encourage, and nurture 
your heart. So dream big, make plans, get moving and allow him to direct your staffs. The Bible says to write the vision down. Though it may tarry, it shall surely come to pass. Write down your vision. Write down your plans for the next five to the next 10 years in your life, in your ministry, in your family, and start to achieve them by making the plan and starting to make the steps towards where God wants you. God will direct you into his perfect will by the help of his Holy Spirit. So let us pray right now as we come before our Father. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we come before you, Lord, today. Lord, today's a new day, a chance for a new start. Yesterday is gone and with it many and any regrets, mistakes or failures, even our good times, Lord, that we may have experienced. It's a good day to be glad and to give thanks today and to know that you are Lord. We thank you for today. It is a new opportunity to love and to give and be all, Lord, that you want us to be. Today, Lord, we want to start the day with you on our minds mind and in our hearts. Lord, as we dress, let us wear the armor that you've provided for us daily, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, the belt of truth, the shoes of peace, and the sword of the Spirit, with prayers on our tongue, praise to you and petitions for all those that are around us and those that we are yet to meet. Feed us today with your daily word, your daily bread as the bread of life. Your food like manna will sustain us throughout any trials and hungers. Help us to set your thoughts on things above and to speak only what will help and encourage others. Keep us from putting our foot within our mouths and help us to guard the affections of our heart today. Lord, we thank you. Make whatever needs to work, let it work today. Lord, let it be worked with excellence. Rather than perfectionism, Lord, we trust in you that you will make your name be known great through every work we do. Help us to treat each person, Lord, that we encounter today as you would, with respect and love, forgiving others and asking for forgiveness yourself when needed. Lord, we thank you Lord, as we start this day, help us to remember that we belong to you and our desires is to act accordingly. Keep our feet from stumbling and our mind from wandering into distractions that could steal precious time and energy from the most important things that you have designed for us. Lord, we thank you today. Lord, we know, Lord, that earthly life is short and fleeting. Lord, but we want to live today as if it were the first or the last day of our life, giving thanks for every good thing and perfect gift that you have chosen to give today and every day. Lord, I pray for each person also that is participating of this three-day fast. Lord, I pray, Lord, for breakthrough to come as you're bringing them to another level. Let your spirit pour upon them, Lord, as they are willing to fast to crucify the flesh. Lord, I pray that you will direct them onto paths of righteousness. Lord, that you will see many breakthroughs to come as we have crossed over the half year mark. Lord, I pray for your blessing to come upon each person from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Let your spirit be poured out with great measure as you they start to walk in the spirit to not gratify and to fulfill the lusts of the flesh. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, the name above all names. Amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance, you may subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't do don't do anything else until you subscribe that you may get the daily uh, uploads that are there to help you grow in your personal walk with the Lord. We also, you can follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. And also, 
For those that know, we are currently in three-day fast, but also on Monday, we have 21 days of prayer, 21 days of removing all the worldly things, worldly entertainment, worldly things that we can focus on the prayer program that has been given for you. Hallelujah. God is so gracious. God is so merciful that he would allow us to all join together in a corporate way to not only fast, but have 21 days of prayer to bring revival in your home. So precious saints, let us press into the Lord to go to another level and believe in greater things to come. So from my family to yours, we are praying for you. God bless you. We love you. Shalom, shalom, shalom.